friends, it's Black History Month, and if you studied Black History Month in school, you may be convinced that only about five people have done anything of value in history ever. They are as follows. MLK, who had a dream, Rosa Parks, who got tired on a bus, Harriet Tubman, who freed slaves, Jackie Robinson, who baseball, and George Washington Carver, who... Fortunately, the good people of the internet have been correcting that oversimplification for years now. Julesy's been doing it, Asante's been doing it, I made a video about black history you didn't learn in school a couple years ago, but that's not what we're doing today. The way we teach Black History Month, the way that we talk about black history is all wrapped up in how much these people excelled above their circumstances, how they achieved greatness, how they were exceptional. And it makes me think of this video I saw of black writer and director Kathleen Collins, and it really messed me up. She said, how do we divest ourselves from the need to make ourselves extraordinary? The danger is now that we must be too good. If you've been evil, if you've been the notion of evil incarnated, and now you're trying to correct that balance. You make black people into saints. Neither one is true. Neither one has anything to do with reality. Whew. Now she was talking about writing fictional characters, but if we're writing the characters of our history, if I'm writing the character of self, that was a word. My history, my heroes have been exceptional, so I wanna be exceptional too. I've always wanted to be the best at my job, the best at my art. I want to be so good that you can't use my race or my gender to deny that I'm good. I want to be exceptional so that you're willing to see the fullness of who I am. But the backlash of that is that being exceptional is another kind of dehumanization. In many of my jobs, I've had people treat me like I'm some kind of rare get. Like there aren't a lot of candidates with my background and my track record who are also black. But that's not even true. There are so many talented black women. I'm not a unicorn. I don't want to be a unicorn. I don't want black women will save us. I don't want Oprah 2020. Between the polls of Mugshot and Black Panther, there are millions of us who are just regular dudes. So instead of black history for a moment, Let's talk about black futures. The way that we associate blackness with either evil or excellence, I wonder if we can arrive at a future where blackness is normalized, where we're able to be complex and flawed, where we're able to be everywhere. That there are enough black characters in movies that we don't even have to like them all. That there are enough black women holding elected office that you can't name them all that you've had enough black people over to your house that you don't feel the need to always tell me about it. I want a future for black people that doesn't deal in onlys and firsts. Because if black people can only be exceptional, then we admit that we're an exception. Tell me in comments what you want for the future. If you like this video, you can subscribe. You can find me anywhere on the internet at It's Radish Time. If you want to support me with your coin, you can do that on Patreon, and I'll see you next week. Bye.